What's up guys, it's been a while. Today I'm gonna to discuss my daily driver and why I drive a cheap car. All right, so here's my 2004 Toyota 4Runner. It is plain Jane version. It is four wheel drive though. Uh, that's something that's a must, not only for um, resale, but also just for when you're out on dirt roads and sandy roads so you don't get stuck. Now the reason I drive just a cheap daily driver is just because it's a car to get from A to B. Something like this over here is a toy. You know, this is a daily driver. So a toy makes sense to put money into. Daily driver, not so much. Because like I said, it's just from A to B. So whether you go and buy a brand new one of these for 40, 50 grand, it's still just gonna get you to the store and back. Something like this is a completely different thing. That's a passion. You know, I understand the concept of putting money into that but this is just you know to get you around town and also you know as you can see it's got bumps and bruises it's nice to not care when things happen to it you know dents and whatnot if somebody hits it with a shopping cart it doesn't really matter if somebody backs into it it doesn't really matter it's cheap inexpensive to fix you know if you bought a new one and you had a payment you're gonna be making that payment every month. If you pay cash for something like this, you don't have that. And regardless of it, if it's a new vehicle or not, you're still gonna be doing tires, brakes, oil changes, regular maintenance, stuff's still gonna break whether it's new or not. So I, I just don't really see the point of it. And, and you know, I'm a car guy, so I get wanting to have a nice car, but you have your nice car for the weekend and you get something like this just to drive during the week. Plus, it doesn't stand out, you know. You're not getting um, any attention drawn to you, you know, from law enforcement and whatnot. It just doesn't stand out, and it's just kind of nice to blend in, and, uh, you know, so that's that. But uh, this one is in pretty good shape, considering it does have, I'll go ahead and put the key on so you can see the mileage. But as you can see, it's got 321,000 miles currently. I bought this with uh, 191,000 miles, I think, six years ago. So I think I want to say I paid six grand for this, and it's been super reliable. Never left me stranded. You know, just regular maintenance tires, brakes, oil. I think I've had to do axles on it. But uh, super just simple. You know, and, and that's that's the thing, the big takeaway. Use the money instead of putting it into a daily driver. You know, you could get something like that or use it to invest. Like there's, there's just no point going out and spending 40, 50 grand on a car to get you from A to B. Um, not to mention the depreciation. I mean, this, you know, I've got kids, so kids beat up the interior on cars. If it's a new car, That'll be uh, kind of crappy, but if it's something that older and used like this, not that big of a deal. As you can see, I got a hitch on there, so since this isn't a truck, I need somewhere to be able to put stuff in to haul it, so I've got a little utility trailer that I do that with. So I used to drive trucks, and um, they're nice, but it's just a longer vehicle to maneuver, and since I'm not always hauling around a bunch of crap, it's just easier to have an SUV. So. Yep, just wanted to make this quick video, you know, kind of some of the reasons I drive something like this. I almost bought a 2014 uh, version of this uh, two years ago to kind of upgrade. You know, not that I have to or anything, but, you know, just to have the different look, and it, which it's still old. And I think it was like 18 grand for a one owner, but now with uh, inflation... That same car is like 30 grand. It's just not worth buying now. So I'll be running this a bit longer. But uh, yeah, so don't buy new, buy used. And uh, for a daily driver, you don't need to spend a fortune. Um, you know, I could eat financially, I could easily go to the dealer and write a check for one of these new. But uh, it's not going to make me any richer if I do that. So just a little bit of advice to you guys out there who uh, might be considering getting something newer. Something like this is all you need. Don't have to worry about it. Don't have to worry about it getting scratched. Cheap to fix. I mean, think about it. You could put 
a remanufactured engine and transmission in here for probably like three or four grand, maybe less, maybe, you know, 2,500 bucks or something if you do it yourself. So and then you pretty much have a zero mile uh, set up there. So save your money so you can get stuff like this. Drive this so you can have that. Does that make sense? Or something like that. Maybe your thing isn't Supras or whatever my thing was. Um, but yeah, sacrifice here so you can have something else in the future. But yeah, simple. Don't need to have anything fancy. Appreciate you guys watching. It's uh, been a while since I threw up a video, so I figured I'd uh, just do a quick video about this. And um, yeah, it's a good little uh, truck. I know I call it a truck, even though it's an SUV. It's just because I used to have a lot of trucks. But um, yeah, it's been good and dependable, and this is all you need. You don't need to spend a bunch of money on um, something that's just going to depreciate. I know right now it's weird because of uh, high inflation, but that's not something that's normal. So eventually cars will depreciate again, so it just doesn't make sense to buy a new one. But uh, if you guys want me to go more in depth on that kind of stuff, or if you have any other video suggestions, please let me know, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks. Bye.